Well, it's the Labor Day weekend. Last chance to lounge by that pool and wrap up your summer reading list. Pippa's standing by with the full forecast. Pippa looks like that nice warm weather isn't quite ready to leave. I don't know why you would imagine that it would. <laughs> We've broken thousands of temperature records across the country and the planet this year. In fact, we're heading into the 329th consecutive month with a global temperature above the 20th century average. Definitely time to light up that barbecue. Yes, the barbecue. Pip, I think the folks at home are probably about ready for that seven-day forecast. Okay, sure. Let's start up north, way up north. This week, satellites measured the smallest area of Arctic sea ice coverage in recorded history. That's four million square kilometers of ice missing since the 1980s. Where did it go? That's bigger than India. <laughs> and it's happening so quickly, some researchers are now forecasting a summer with no ice in the Arctic Ocean within 10 years. So instead of a bright white sheet reflecting sunlight back into space, that means dark water sucking up even more heat, making it melt faster and faster. Most scientists prefer the friendlier term of feedback loop, but I'm more inclined to call it what it is, an inescapable death spiral. I think there's a feedback loop in my earpiece, because I believe I just heard myself ask you for the weather report. This is the weather report. This is what's happening. Scientists are telling us we can put 565 more gigatons of carbon into the atmosphere before global temperatures rise by two degrees, which is universally accepted as the threshold of total mayhem. Except if you add up the proven reserves of fossil fuels controlled by the world's energy companies, the oil and gas and coal we currently plan to burn, that amount is five times the safe limit. So if you think it's bad now, you just wait and see what hell we're going to unleash once we start drilling under the Arctic and digging up the tar sands so you can drive three blocks to get an ice cap. You think all of this extreme weather is a coincidence? You want the weather report? This is a reality report! So all in all, a great Labor Day weekend and good times for the air conditioner industry. Until the power goes out, you moron! In other news, Chavril Madness is sweeping the nation. Canada's royal couple of rock was spotted canoodling. Ah! 